Hey guys, how are you? This is a very exciting and special video. I, it's been a long time coming. I'm very excited and proud to announce I officially have my Etsy shop open. Um, it is called Siren Song Stitchery. Um, and you saw the picture of it, of the logo on the, um, on the logo to this video hopefully. Sorry if you hear my husband in the background, he's uh, video conferencing with somebody. Um, I currently have three patterns available. One is coming. Um, I'm still kind of at the point with certain patterns that I really have to stitch a little bit or um, stitch it up so that I make sure everything is how I want it. Um, so that's why it's not available of yet. Um, I might start putting up some other patterns that I do feel comfortable with just showing a mock-up. Um, but yeah, so one is a finish you've seen before. I designed this pattern um, and I just hadn't really, I did it on paper with pencil. Um, oh no, it's, there's stuff on this. Anyway, this is a Harry Potter inspired pattern. Um, you may, if you are a fan, you have seen this before like on shirts or posters. Um, so this is my first pattern. It is the seven books. Um, the main word of one of the each of the books. And I chose the flosses um, because they're the color that the words or the name Harry Potter is on the US original edition. So the gold, the silver, the green, the orange, the blue, the purple, and the red. Um, I just hadn't charted this on edit on you know software uh, cross stitch software and I recently finally took the plunge and purchased PC stitch um, so I stitched mine on 16 count Ada um, and obviously it's on dark fabric but you could choose to do it on a lighter fabric so this is available um, I have another one that was inspired by EJ EJ of the sunshine stitchers if you do watch them and she's like, well, I love a pattern that says my blood type is tequila. And I decided to, and I told her, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I could, I could do that. Um, so I made it up and she's like, you need to get your Etsy shop going. And so here's that. This is my stitch. This is on 14 count Ada. She hand dyed a piece of fabric for it herself and hers looks like a, a sky sand sort of beach theme. So that's really cool. This is available as well. I think I'm going to make one for coffee that's kind of in the works. Um, somebody mentioned they wanted one for beer, so I think I will do that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is if there's something you'd like to see, if you're like, I like that pattern, but I want it to be vodka or rum, just let me know. Um, there's some I'll probably end up eventually designing, but if I don't, um, and you like it, just let me know and I'll make it. Um, because I basically have the first bit of it, the my blood type, and I just got to change it up. The next one is my blood type is wine. Um, and I did offer three color choices for this pattern. You can have a rosé, so like a pink colorway, and a white wine. Um, the wine is in a weak style works, but I do offer a DMC, um, comparison let me let me go make sure the door is okay closed. that's better so there's that and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer a second pattern um, where it has all three glasses EJ suggested that um, I don't know if I can stitch it yet but I will maybe I'll probably eventually stitch it just to have a model stitch of it um, but since you can see this one and I'll just have that one available as well um, so so yeah, there's that. So those are the three patterns that are currently available. I have one in the works at the moment. I can show you the mock-up and where I am in the model stitch. So this is the mock-up. It's teacup mermaid. It's a teacup taking a bath in a, a mermaid taking a bath in a teacup. I'm really excited about it, but like I said, I don't want to release anything yet until I've had the chance to stitch it up, especially with that one. I've definitely made some changes as I stitch it up as far as like using certain types of stitches. So this is where I am on the mock-up. I'll probably be working that on and off. I gotta think about that now, you know, as part of my year of whips, I wanna get stuff done, but I also wanna be able to share with you um, my, my designs and hopefully, 
hopefully you guys would be interested in them and like them. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. I have kind of two schools of thought on what I'd like to design. Um, woody stuff, like woody sayings and like font related patterns because I like a lot of that kind of stuff. And little cartoon, cartoon well I guess technically you could almost separate it into three. And like stuff like this, like cute little cartoony things, but also some mermaids and I have more to say on that but I, I think it make more sense when I have the first one ready to go um but yeah so now there are three patterns available soon to be four and if you are interested in a my blood type is pattern and you want some other type of drink on there it doesn't have to be a spirit um I'm gonna I'm pretty sure I'll do a coffee one whether people you know mention it or not because I think a lot of people like coffee um but if it if you want one that says like sweet tea I think somebody might might have mentioned that in a comment I don't know if they meant they would like the pattern or if they just were mentioning that they drink sweet tea um that could be something the only thing is and I mean I am on Etsy um I would love for my stuff to eventually be in stores um that's kind of in a way my goal but I know certain patterns that's not gonna happen like the Harry Potter pattern or if I do something like my blood type is Pepsi I don't think that's gonna fly I don't even know if I would want to put that on Etsy either because I don't know how how that would work and I don't want to get in any sort of trouble with any companies um, I mean I know those patterns are out there I just be really worried that especially wanting to put stuff out you know in stores one day if that would be something that would work so I really don't know I don't know how how to go about that but I can make something general like coffee or vodka or sweet tea or soda or cola but not like Pepsi or Coke or Starbucks I can't, I don't think I would want to do that and risk getting shut down over something like that um the harry potter is more i mean i guess technically that i hadn't thought about because i designed that one years ago and i do like that kind of stuff so i want to design stuff for it because i know that people want patterns for that kind of thing but i i really have to think about like what it is i want to do and where i want to go with this um right now it's kind of just for fun but i would love to eventually make designs that people are interested in just in stitching and would want to see more of um so yeah um let me know um if there's anything you would like to see and i'll think if it's something that i could design that i could envision and i'll put it out there you know um so i will leave the link down below i really appreciate you just watching this hopefully sharing it um if you're willing to share on Instagram or in the Facebook groups, I would love that. Um, I know one person told me I could share on their group, but I know some groups, you know, some like other people can be like, I found this or I'm enabling this, but um, you don't, they don't want self promoters because they don't want it to turn into a whole bunch of self promoting because there are a lot of us out there that make bags or minders or patterns or whatever. Um, so if you feel compelled to do so um, and share in a Facebook group you're a part of, awesome. I would love that. If if you don't, it's okay. Um, I have to. I you know I have to work um, to get word out there. If you stitch one of those patterns, oh my goodness, please um, share with me. Um, so again, that's on Etsy, Siren Song Stitchery. All um, caps on the S's, no spaces. On Instagram, I'm Siren Song Stitchery with underscore. So Siren underscore Song underscore Stitchery. When I signed up, I made the S's caps, but I think Instagram automatically made them lowercase. So I think either one will work. I believe there's some embroiderer that uses a very similar um, name. So I mean, you'll be able to tell. The first post is me, and the picture is my logo. 
Um, so I'd love it if you're on there. A lot of people are following me on there already, so that's awesome. Um, but I hope you check it out. If you stitch one of the patterns, let me know. I would love to see it. Um, you can, you know, tag me on Instagram and that way I can see it. And if you have any suggestions or something you'd like to see, please let me know. Um, thank you for taking the time to view this and tell people about it if you do. If you don't, cool. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.